Guide to IT Risk Management What is IT Risk Management? IT Risk Management is the process of identifying potential risks, analyzing them, and developing strategies to manage them. A risk is any event that has the potential to cause loss or harm. The likelihood of a risk occurring and the impact on the organization should be part of the risk management design process. The IT system that is assessed will depend on what part of an organization's operations are being assessed for risks. The following is a list of the different types of IT risks. 1. Malware Malware is any malicious software that can infect your computer and cause damage to it. This includes viruses, worms, ransomware, spyware, and adware. 2. Data loss Data loss occurs when data is lost due to hardware failure or human error such as deleting files by mistake or formatting a hard drive by mistake. 3. Viruses Viruses are programs that can infect your computer and damage it by making it run slowly or preventing you from accessing certain files on your computer. 4. Identity theft Identity theft is when someone uses your personal information to commit fraud or steal your personal assets or belongings. 5. Power and network loss The risk of losing network or power should be taken into account when designing your system to ensure business continuity without any delays. 6. Physical loss Whether the physical loss was natural or man-made, there should be a process in place to ensure that the systems will remain unaffected. How to prevent IT risks in your business There are many risks that can befall your business and it is hard to predict what will happen. However, there are some ways that you can take to prevent IT risks in your business. 1. Any organization that has important information to protect should bear risk in mind when designing and implementing their security measures. 2. On-site backup where data back is available either on the devices themselves or on local servers. 3. Off-site backup where data is backed up and stored in a separate location from where it is being used or accessed from. 4. Using a VPN to provide an extra layer of protection to all the information transmitted by encrypting it.